tragedy of monumental proportion occurred in Ojudu Baga Axis of Lagos when a truck rammed into students, killing many of them. Angry youths in the area got hold of the truck and set it ablaze in anger. But police were on hand to arrest the driver, uh, who is now in custody. Let's share the story reported by TVC News, Ola Awako. Destructions on every truck along the road by angry mob. This is an indication that there is a devastating situation ahead. Sad faces, blood stains, and lamentations film the scene. Right at this spot behind me is Ojodu Grammar School bus stop, where a truck ram into a good number of students who just closed from their secondary school very close by here. And the number of students that were killed by this truck has not been ascertained. The residents of this area lament the situation. Last month, so to say. So I think they were trying to stop the uh, truck driver. So he was, he, I mean, <laughs> escape, you know. So and it was this um, rush now for the children, you understand? So that, that was how the truck ran into those children um, um, going home, on our way. And it wasn't as if, you know, it wasn't as if the truck was facing them actually. They were going and the truck was behind them. So it's so pathetic, I know. So pathetic. Oh, after killing a good number of students at this particular spot, the truck kept running until it was stopped at around Ogba, Aguda, and set ablaze. As soon as he knew that such a thing has happened, he tried to make his way out of the road. So some of the angry um, uh, youth chased him and caught him at Aguda here. It was from this Aguda, they got the car burned, beat him up before the policeman could interfere and took him to the police station. Residents of this area are yet to put a figure to the number of students who were killed by this truck behind me, which rammed into students who just closed from Ojodu Grammar School, going home at about 2.30. And it is expected that this truck which is being burnt down and what has led to this devastation is being checked so that we don't have you know um, a repetition of what has led to this devastation and this agony that has befallen many families of this area Ola Awakon TBC News Lagos Meanwhile, the Lagos State Police Commissioner Akin Odumosu, who confirmed the arrest of the truck driver, said the casualty figure could not yet be ascertained. Let's hear Akin Odumosu. The trailer lost control, so he ran to some students. But uh, with students now, normally with their normal reaction, they want to go to the station now to act the decision. But only because we arrested the driver. The driver was on the run. He was pursued now we arrested the driver. So they realizing that the driver now is the custody of the police in that area. They want to have jungle justice. But you are deployed enough to make sure that does not happen. So but now the actual number of casualties and the actual number of the state of, uh, of the injury, all this is now, is this case. Yes, um, Lagos State Police Commissioner there. Jide, we are familiar with this road and uh, even this area. Um, there's grammar school, police station. And during the NSAS time, it was uh, set ablaze and I think it's just been rebuilt there now. There's this Millennium School. That Millennium School is one of the um, signature projects of um, former governor of Lagos State, Bola the, the number of schools that were put together to form these schools will tell you the number of students that are always in that school, very big compound, very big school. So by now I'm worried if they don't know the exact number of um, children affected, it's very poor and it could be devastating to parents. 
I think ultimately we we'll have the exact number of the dead. Um, when something like this happens, the first thing that people in government try to do is to um, not tell the truth. Mm. So try to reduce the casualty figure, mm. you know. But it's not always uh, the best thing to do. We've got to learn from this. We have got to learn from this experience. A situation in which security agencies whose duty it is to manage traffic start running after vehicles. Sometimes they put even revenue generation mm -hmm. above traffic management. It has to stop. There is a need, for example, for reorientation, complete reorientation of last <coughs> staff and even training of his, his officers and men. Okay. That has to happen. So I, I, I'm saying that we have to mm. learn from this. Whether it is last month, I don't know who did it, mm. and I don't expect them to even confess. It know. is our nature that when this sort of thing happens, uh, will nobody know. will want to say that I did mm. it. You know? Whether it is VIO, whether it is LASMA, whether it is road, road safety. safety. Our police. We are saying that we have to learn from this. Oh. None of them will be happy to lose a child who no. went to school. No, no. And we are talking about scores of uh, dead hmm. students. Oh. Technology will ensure that by capturing even the number plates of a vehicle, we are able to bring that driver that to is, justice. That is the thing. Not on, not That's when you are chasing. Sometimes you even see them the they hang, yes. uh, they hang on the tailboard yes. of a vehicle, and this vehicle will be moving. At yes, they are hanging on the tailboard. There. You are hanging on the tailboard. You are running after it. You are even endangering your own life. Now, in the US and in the UK, they can chase your car, but that will be maybe you committed murder. Or something serious. You don't take. Maybe you took some lives. They will chase you. Oh, Police yeah. vehicle will chase you, and they will radio the, the next stop. You cannot escape. We, and we've, okay. I've seen. So I've seen videos. It did not even happen where there is so much dense population. It is only on highway where they know they can. They, they will not be chasing you in, in the the crowd crowd like like that. This, uh, go uh -huh. road. So the point that we are making is: look. We can't have security agencies manning our roads, either as traffic uh, managers who are tyrannical, uncontrollable, and even corrupt. Mm. You must put traffic management above revenue generation. Mm. Because when the driver sees that, oh, they are going to make me to pay through my nose, that's when they start running. No one is justifying what has happened. Yeah. But we can't have a situation. It's not the first time. There is a video. I wish I can get hold of that video. Even the FRSC officials who were chasing a vehicle, they too had an accident yeah. and died. Yeah. You are chasing a vehicle. And we've seen a, 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 a bus driver being chased. Mm -hmm. Being chased because he wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. He eventually had an accident and the uh, passengers died. Mm. Is that the sort of thing that we should encourage? Mm. Yes, I don't know. Yes. Another angle to it is that, yes. the flip side of it, is that anytime we have something like this in Lagos, the propensity for the breakdown of law and order among our youths, because that opportunity will be used, they will catch in on that opportunity and they will wreak havoc. If it's not for this intervention of security agencies yesterday, these guys would have gone on looting and burning spree. So to bring anything down at that moment would not matter to them. Um, the, 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 the best thing to do is never to allow that to occur at all. Because this is today. They, this is like the, they the vehicle. This is like the, the Roman mob. They, you, who are you going to talk to? There is nobody you can talk to. The thing, that, the question I want to ask is this: When we were going to change story. number plates some years back, mm -hmm. what was the excuse? Ikorodu. They said Shemodu. that when you Agigi. the new number plate mm -hmm. 
will be tied to a particular vehicle. When you offend, all they need is the number. And the the nobody of... needs to chase you. What has happened to that? We have been fleeced. Hmm. Nothing has happened. Now, and nobody is if, towards if, us. if I drive a car now and I knock someone down, God forbid, what they need, all they need to do is to get me the number plate. With the number, they will get all your details. And they will get all the details. What has uh, happened to that? Why do you need to chase to a single kill. soul uh, to oh, kill do not go from, kids, from, uh, from school, school children? Down to... To Ogba. Why do you, you need, to need to chase, chase. anybody? Look, Why do you need to chase anybody? In Dubai, for example, in Dubai, we be you, cannot, we you, you cannot uh, commit a crime a tra uh, against the traffic law. You don't need policemen around. At all. You know that we, we have, we have camera. cameras everywhere. Effective one. The radar will effectively mm. get hold of you. So, and once you are you are arrested, you will lose your license. You will never be able to drive a car. So they two on their own will not do it. They Just like do it. the first time I went to the UK, a vehicle was ahead of us and and it, it was not in a hurry. So I told the guy, I said, I use your horn. He said, no, no, I will never try it. The man, the man who drove me was a Somali man. Mm. He said, if I, if I if use my horn that. here, I will lose my license. And it took me years to get this to license get to go to work here. Mm. It's you not know? that horn that they will use, use it to sing uh, in the bus stop. We will be, like uh, uh, we'll be singing songs with the horn here in our country. So, I mean, you can't use your horn anyhow. Oh, man. And it's not as if somebody is there physically to monitor you. No. Mm. You know that you cannot escape. You know. It's the same thing in Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. If you, you cannot... Everywhere. You cannot... You, you, if, the, if the light stops you, you will see them. Even if there is no traffic ahead, they will never... They, they, will, they will never, they will never bring, yeah. They will stay there. There is so, no traffic ahead. Though. It's just that... In Lagos, if there is no traffic and you are stopped... They just move. They move. Look, these things exist though. It's just that in Lagos State or in Nigeria, we don't follow this into the letter. Is your it, vehicle license, yes. let me tell you, if you sell your car today, yes. you cannot exchange that plate number. That is, the, that is what they said. No, but that's, that's what is on record. That's no, what I'm not telling you it, now. It happened. If you give another person, the person cannot go and re-register that car. Because your name will be the one there. Yes. I, you know, I do this a lot. Uh, so uh, this will no, do but the IO station and everything. That is the law. How is it effective? Do they lose? Yes, they don't have to, they, uh, they, uh, they don't follow it. That was by the reason why the number plates were changed that the three you. letters yes. come first and all that. And everyone was forced, whether your car was due or not, to to all change it. So what has happened? Technology has made it easy to, but to, to ensure that we do not uh, uh, jump on the tailboard of vehicles. Oh, and people do not know AYR and, 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 start, mm, and start ch chasing more vehicles. Police officer uh, is that how they do it on the your driver on your so they will be dragging the steering wheel. Uh, person. I'll you. What kind of training is that? I'll tell That's you, I don't know. Madness. I, I don't, somebody I don't is know. driving, you are dragging the steering and wheel. Somebody will be behind, uh, an official will be behind, they will be recording. Yes. And you are, I don't know the kind of training that will tell you to. That is the point that I was making that look, there is a need for reorientation training. You don't, you don't, they have to change their, uh, this, look at what they have caused now. Look now, none of them will admit that. Uh, FRS said they didn't no. do it. No. Uh, last part too, they will say they didn't no do it. We are, so who did it? Let me say, say, yeah, yeah, told you that did it. <laughs> you know? So okay, this is I have, the thing. I have Shola Jr. from Ibadan. Thank you for joining us, Shola. Shola from Ibadan. Baba Jide, good evening, sir. And, hello, Shola. Uh, the other man. Good, hello, hello. I'm hearing you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Please go ahead, Shola. All right, thank you. I'm calling from Ibadan. Baba Jide, good evening, sir. And uh, the other man, Ojek Bile, good evening, sir. Now, I would appreciate it if justice is being done. Shola, go ahead. Matter. Yes, go ahead. On this matter. Yeah, now, if, if, if our government will be able to come out and make these people as example to others, especially on the issue of these children, the one in Darwin College, one that happened yesterday in that school, the children that were crushed down by the truck. Honestly, it's very pathetic because it, the, the, the parents have been thrown into a very 
good now. And at the end of the year, we pray that all of us will be protected by the Almighty God. But what's yeah. important is we need to get it right and do the needful. So government of the state, government of the local government and everywhere to please rise up and make sure that justice is being given so that that leads into pushing the pains in the life of the parents. I think we should set up an agenda whereby this thing can never happen again. Thank you, Baba Jide. Please improve on these issues on Saturday so that I'll be hearing you clearly. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Shola. Thank you, Shola, for your e feedback. And um, Shola is also um, telling Baba Jide to um, do something about the issues on Saturday so that they can follow him um, uh, more. I think Shola was just trying to say that look, it's very, it's an unfortunate time for this thing to to, to happen, and people should be brought to justice, and b people should be held responsible for this kind of. Now, if the, the commissioner of police, if they are telling us that the driver has been apprehended, thank God that the jungle justice people did not catch up with the driver, mm -hmm. unless I'm telling you, it would have been set up with pronto, you know. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> As in, that's well, I they were, <laughs> the, the attackers were, like, were students, so. yeah. and today they were still attacking trucks. They were attacking trucks at Baga today. The video that we, were, we saw, that blue truck, mm. the, the, the windshield was smashed. That's and you see they were wearing their doing. uniform. That's you can see, see them, they are wearing their uniform. They are students. They are Just still angry. school students? Yes, they were the ones who attacked this uh, truck. Yesterday, the person who filmed it was standing on top of that pedestrian bridge, bridge. Mm. and he filmed it. So, the, the, the students were still angry about what happened. Yes, they were attacking those trucks. Yeah, but did they just too young to be carrying out assets? These students, secondary yeah. school students, these are not the best. We students. are talking about students, some of them belonging to cult groups. You mm. are saying they are Look too young. Look at what they are doing to that country. <laughs> Students that are in cult mm. groups already. This one is surprising to you. Ah, look at them now. <laughs> Eka, this is. <laughs> my you know what? <laughs> we are breeding an angry generation. Hmm. That's what. And the best time to do, the best thing to do, is to begin to behave. Correctly. You don't even have regard for anybody. Mm. You see today's children, mm. no respect. Mm. No respect. Mm. Even meet them they, alive. They, That's they the worst. Lie, they yeah. lie, they, they children of anger. People, yes. who are, they are the parents too, are irresponsible. They are not training children the proper way mm. anymore. You mm. see mm. children, they have no regard for you. You meet people online. Even, even where we walk, yeah. you see, you are trying to enter a room. You see maybe somebody who came for IT. Mm. Mm. A girl of like 16 years. Yeah, 15. It will hit you, you yeah. will hit your chest and go inside. Mm. Mm. Instead of waiting for an el the well, elderly person. To pass. Oh, to all those like, all no those training. No, 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 no training. training. No, no, no training. At all. That's no, why no, what no. happened in Doen is not a surprise no, to me. Yes. All yeah. of these parents who have refused to train their children the proper way. And when teachers even help them to do they what they have and, refused to do, yes. they will go and bring police to be harassing teachers. Yeah. Stupid people. Yeah. So, yeah. Why are you harassing teachers? When, when I was told that somebody, you insult, your own somebody insulted GD online one day, and that person came for a consolation, the first thing that struck me when I came, I saw that person. I was like, ah, I couldn't just stand it. <laughs> Look at social media. I want to this one. I just, I just walked away. Well, that's why... Uh, uh, an Italian Nobel laureate once said that the social media has made life easy. What an idiot will say in a beer parlor mm -hmm. that they will shut him down. Mm -hmm. He will come to the social yes. media uh -huh. and mm -hmm. say it. No, people mm -hmm. ordinarily you know, cannot mm -hmm. lace your boots, mm -hmm. are not qualified to lace your boots. Mm -hmm. They come on social media to abuse you. Sometimes out of Pure envy, jealousy, and that they can they, uh, that all their years they've not been able to rise to the level that you have risen to. So they mm. just see, mm, let let us abuse no, him. One you, thing is, insulting. once you are successful in life, mm. you have hand, you have earned the right in inverted commas to be hated. Yeah, yeah. And people will hate you. Yes, <laughs> yeah. the right to be hated. And you have earned it. it by being successful. Mm. You expect to be hated. Mm. That's the thing. Mm.